Hey folks, your OS reviews. You're watching our video first look and a quick review of the Jettery ICU01. This is a USB based endoscope that sells on Amazon for around 35 bucks, which isn't too expensive. This can be used for repair work and can also be used to examine uh, places that are difficult to access with the naked eye or with a traditional camera. So it uses this snake like head, which can be bent quite easily due to the aluminum and metal nature of this wire, and it remembers its place as a memory wire and the camera module is attached onto the very bottom here. It's protected by a lens and also features an LED light which can be positioned so it's brighter or dimmer depending on your usage to access uh, cracks or creaks, uh, let's say in a wall, uh, maybe in the engine that you're trying to test out uh, that you can't really see just by you know putting your head in or using a regular camera with a massive lens. So the actual unit itself does have a fixed focused uh, camera sensor, so it isn't an autofocus camera, uh, which is the norm with most endoscopes that we've seen. And it's a plug and play unit, so it doesn't require any drivers to be operated, just insert it onto the USB port uh, most typically with a Windows or a Mac computer, although it will work with OTG supported uh, Android smartphones and uh, with uh, tablets as well. You can see here the cable length is quite long. It's not a wireless endoscope, but it has roughly, I would say, 1.5 to 2 meter meters long, so you don't have any issues as far as uh, reaching and moving about with the uh, wand in your hand, and it has a simple USB, again, 2.0 plug on the other side. The unit itself is made out of a fusion between these metal as well as soft touch rubber materials, so it does feel pretty good as far as construction quality is concerned. It seems like it's going to last for quite a while. Uh, the wire on the top here, the snake head does have a pretty long uh, distance, so it, it does take a bit of space in terms of storage, but it's not too bad or crippling, and it doesn't require any additional batteries to operate. It basically draws power directly from the USB 2.0 port. You can see from top here, this uh, scroll wheel allows you to dim the uh, light or turn it completely off. You can hear that click that's now set to off, and it's a pretty easy to adjust. It could use a little bit more fine tuning, but all in all, it definitely helps with uh, darker lit environments, and perhaps you're looking underneath a keyboard or for dust or for uh, circuitry on a board. This will help and magnify uh, you know, darker environments. There's also a shutter key, which allows you to directly capture an image. Uh, this is something that might not work on all computers. Computers. It requires uh, a little bit of uh, playing around, but you could always use the direct software buttons on a device to capture an image or record a bit of video. I found that on Windows 10 computers, it's uh, very easy, simply plug and play, and it shows up as an additional camera. So you just open up the camera app on a, on a PC, and then you cycle through by tapping on the flip camera icon, and you get it until it shows up the Jettery uh, ICU01 as one of the camera options. So this is basically it as far as the design is concerned. And we're going to give you guys a quick demo of how it works as well. Doing a quick demonstration, there are no drivers that you'll need to install for most cases. Just plug it into the USB port on your computer and you'll be ready to go. To launch the application, you can just use the traditional camera viewfinder app that you already have on your PC. So just search the camera into the search bar below. So you'll find the first app that pops up from Microsoft and you just launch this and it should have the viewfinder set up correctly. If not, tap on the top key, which allows you to cycle through multiple cameras to find the digital endoscope version. So you might have to go through the webcam camera facing on the front of the laptop or your tablet. Maybe you, there's a rear facing camera on your tablet to finally come into the endoscope on which you've plugged in. So this is what it looks like. Again, there is a light on the bottom there, which allows you to more easily see your subjects. And it's a fixed focus camera, which means that it's not going to be the best in terms of getting super, super close in or super far away. But if you get the distance just right, it remains quite sharp. And it seems almost like a digital microscope in the effect. Doing a quick demonstration here, we can zoom very closely into this keyboard. So if you have, let's say, a mechanical keyboard or a more traditional keyboard that you want to see if there's any dust or something that's stuck underneath a particular key, you can definitely use this and uh, take a look. Of course, it's also going to be more useful if you use it uh, when looking through wires that you can't reach, perhaps on the ceiling, um, and that's another application as well. So right now we are about, I would say, uh, five to six centimeters away from the subject. You can see that the image quality here is quite sharp and in focus. Obviously, it's a little difficult to remain completely still, but uh, once you are satisfied, just take a shot and you can instantly save your image. So here's an example of that. You can also change the brightness of the light. So if that makes a difference, you can change that using the wheel by turning that completely off if you're in a well-lit environment, or I can turn that back on and you can make it even brighter 
or dimmer and uh, change that to your liking. So that works fairly well. Of course, it's using just a typical USB 2.0 plug on the other side, which means that you can tr technically convert it into something like micro USB or lightning with an optional accessory and still use this with a smartphone or a tablet. So that's another route that you can go with this. So certainly a lot of applications that you can play around with. And again, it is uh, fairly good. Once everything is in focus, you can look at things in a lot more detail and also uh, zoom in quite close into various angles and also uh, various objects that you can't typically reach with just your hands or your eyes. So anyways guys, this has been a quick video first look at this uh, digital endoscope. The only cons that I kind of found was that the tip, which includes a light, gets a little bit warm after a bit of usage. It's made out of metal, which somewhat helps with the heat dissipation, but still gets quite warm. Otherwise, another thing that we found was sometimes the cable has a bit of a, a signal issue. So if you twist the uh, flexible neck almost uh, too wide or too suddenly um, and kind of kind of keep on changing that, you sometimes get a few flashes of a light or maybe even some signals that tells you that the connection is a little loose. So maybe that might point at a slightly poor construction quality on some units, which is uh, something to quickly point out. So you can see there how there are a few pixelation and boxes like that happening if you twist the angle too suddenly at extreme angles. So that is something to point out. Otherwise it works very well. So before ending this video I'm going to show you guys what the box looks like very quickly. This is the back of the box. You can see that it shows you a bit more info about the specifications of the camera including the diameter in terms of how wide it is, so what kinds of pipes um, that it's going to be able to fit through. And you can see that there are several models that the company is actually selling. Some which has a slightly lower resolution of 640 by 480 like the one that we're checking out today and others which go all the way up to 1280 by 720 so 720p or there's even a 1080p model which is going to cost for about two times as much otherwise you can check out a few more details about the frames per second the angle of the uh, lens which is about 60 degrees on all of them and also the temperature range at which it can operate at um, a bit more details on the sides and including the fact that you can go into again cars uh, which is an application you can go into drains as well as the air conditioners and ceilings as well as pipes so the packaging itself on the side here, you can also see this is what it looks like. Finally, this is the model number. Uh, printed here. All right, thanks for watching this video. First look of the USB inspection camera slash endoscope camera here at OS Reviews. You can check out more details coming out soon in our written review. But for now, this has been our video. Thank you for watching.